This is Spreaker Web Radio. Well, here we are, guys, for this special one-off requested show. I did say if I got enough people, I would do it. And uh, this is an idea that was floated to me in one of my old segments, which was to a Jobber Royal Rumble. So I'm going to um, get out trying that now. It's obviously not going to be as many Jobbers as I'd like, but it's what I can find. We'll just uh, give it a couple of minutes before we start to hopefully get some of the people in, but yeah, anyway, anyone who may be listening or currently is listening, this is the special that I, w- uh, I said I would do, and it's where we go. No guests for me tonight because this is just a one-off thing, obviously a thousand for all being tomorrow, which I cannot wait for. Um, I'm toying with the idea, Tuesday night show, which possibly I'm thinking could be with Frankie and Ollie. If I can get them in time, that all depends. But we'll, we'll see what we can sort out anyway. On to tonight, I'm not taking any part in this rumble. I'm just literally gonna let it let it play through and keep you updated if anything that happens. So I'm not gonna reveal anyone who's in it. We'll just see who comes out and see if you're surprised, etc., etc. And let's press play. Nice Nice little screen pick of The Undertaker though, like loads, going to Justin Roberts in the ring it'll go to. As predicted, I don't know if you can hear that. Job is war rumble. We don't know the rules of the rumble by now. So many. I want some feedback from this as well, guys. So you see how I do on my own. Obviously, I've usually got guests with me. If you can hear that, but Chavo Guerrero is number one. Now the reason why I think he's a jobber is, for example, it's, it points in his career. He's uh, lost his title. For example, Kane in a ridiculous amount of time. So for that reason, judging by the fact I didn't have many choices, I went for him being the jobber in this rumble. That's my uh, reasoning behind that one. Anyway, on to number two, we've also seen Chavo enter before. And this one's David Otunga. Well, the reason why I've gone with David Otunga is because, again, I believe at times in his career he's been used as a jobber. So, I think... Like I said, as I was running out with people to do, I believe I went with him just because of the basis I believe he, in past, has been used as a jobber. Anyway, on to the Royal Rumble, just about to start as these two start in the ring. It's loading up now. David Otunga starting in the ring with Chavo Guerrero. Let's see what can happen with this. Just to mention, it's going to only be a 20 man Royal Rumble as I've not been able to get as many as I've liked, but. I've been bashing the WWE servers completely and it won't let me have anybody else because of downloads and stupid rubbish like that. That's one thing I do despise about this game, the, the servers are quite weak. I saw WWE 13 is an improvement. But Otunga's got Charvo on the ropes already. He's trying to put him out here, so Charvo can fight back. Counting down, four, three, two, one. 
and our next person in is none other than what looks like Kurt Hawkins no I apologize that's not Kurt Hawkins that's Drew McIntyre <laughs> again I believe he's been used as a jobber predominantly through and may I just mention Otunga's eliminated Chavo while, uh, while uh, Drew McIntyre was coming in but McIntyre's got Otunga on the ropes already this looks like it's going to be a short rumble as people are just getting eliminated instantly but yeah, we're just over five minutes through in this, and McIntyre looks to have got rid of Otunga. Six. He has done, he's got him, he's gone, Otunga's gone. Three, two, one. And the next person in. And it's none other than Yoshi Tatsu. Again, predominant jobber in the WWE. Up there with uh Keith Slater is the king of the jobbers in my opinion. Well, here we go, Drew McIntyre versus Yoshi, Yoshi Tatsu in the ring. Both men grappling currently. We'll see what comes of this. Again, Drew McIntyre's got Tatsu straight on the ropes looking to eliminate him. Oh, sad news, Tom thinks Yoshi to win when he's just about to get eliminated by McIntyre. Is it coming? Can he defend? McIntyre has got him. Tatsu is out. Sorry, your pick's gone, Tom. And the next one out, Vladimir Kozlov. Obviously left the WWE now, but he was on this game. I thought at time Jay was used as a heat, uh, not a heel, as a monster, but didn't really cut off. He was more relegated to... Uh, Santino Morella tag team, if you remember that guys, he won the belts at one point, if I'm not mistaken. So, I'm going to put him down as a jobber. I didn't put Santino down, I warn you now, as obviously currently he's the current champion, so it would be a bit stupid to have him as a jobber currently. But, Kozlov's got McIntyre on the ropes, but he isn't going to, oh and now he is, he's going to eliminate him now. Can Kozlov get rid of McIntyre, who's eliminated two men? He's got him. He looks like he's about to. Oh no, McIntyre for the first time in this match fights back. And a power move, a DDT from Drew McIntyre on Kozlov. Kozlov is down. And in entering, the next one is Michael McGillicutty. Again, I put him in there because obviously he's not even on WWE programming at the moment. He's been relegated mostly to, I believe, NXT. The travesty, the fact he's not allowed to be called and use his famous father's name, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning, but we all know the travesty is that. And as I speak, McIntyre has Kozlov on the ropes. Is Kozlov about to be eliminated? No, for some strange reason, McGillicutty stops it and throws Drew out. And now it's Kozlov trying to eliminate Drew. I think he'll get him this time. But don't forget, Michael McGillicutty is waiting for whoever stays in. And McIntyre is not out. He clings onto the bottom rope while McGillicutty starts on Kozlov with a nice backdrop. An elbow drop. McIntyre is back in and just standing in the corner waiting for whoever's next. Oh, he's Kozlov with the elimination on McGillicutty, but the favour was returned as McIntyre broke it up. Every time he's trying to be an elimination, it's stopped. And the next entrant is Justin Gabriel. Again, one I believe that should be there, due to mostly being used in the, let's say, undercard. There's a lot of people in this in this rumble are more undercard than jobber, but it's what I could get. It's what I can get. Unfortunately, guys, I didn't know I'd be doing the show, so I just rushed together to get what I could. But now we've got four men in the ring. because Kozlov's on the ropes, possibly going down to three here. McGillicutty's has got him, but Justin Gabriel stops it. But again, he's on the ropes. Gabriel's trying to stop it again, and he does, four men in the ring, let me finish, Michael McGillicutty, Vladimir Kozlov, Drew McIntyre and Justin Gabriel, but for the fourth time in quick concession, McGillicutty's on Kozlov, and this time without interference, he gets rid of him, Vladimir Kozlov is gone, three men in the ring, due and of one, as Gabriel's put on the ropes, and a combination of McGillicutty 
and Drew are trying to get him out. Here comes Husky Harris sprinting. Remember him, he's now been repackaged in NXT. I can't exactly remember what his name is, but it's Husky Harris on here. Famous did you know for you? Husky Harris is the son of IRA IRS if you remember him. Also known as Mike Rotunda. Having a little did you know to your night though boys. Or girls if anyone else is listening out there. Four men in the ring now, Husky Harris, Drew McIntyre, Justin Gabriel and Michael McGillicoy. Both men fight all four men fighting now. <coughs> Gabriel's down. <coughs> In the corner, Michael McGillcutt is in the corner. Husky Harris working on him, but McGillcutt he pushes him away. And two, one, we have another entrant. And guess who it is, ladies and gentlemen? It's the king of the jobbers, Heath Slater. Heath Slater is slowly making his way down the ring to be the fifth man currently in this ring. Now can he help last who's left and win this? It is a job as Royal Rumble. McIntyre is down while Husky Harris works on him. Slater comes to help. McIntyre is on the ropes, clinging on for dear life, but Husky Harris does nothing about it and he gets back in. Five men in the ring as I keep mentioning. Heath Slater is getting worked on by McIntyre now. Thrown into the corner where Husky Harris starts to try and eliminate him. Is this Heath Slater gone already? He's up on the top ropes. Husky Harris is going. McIntyre just watches, but no, Slater counters. Knee to the head, nice. And he's in the corner again, is Heath Slater? But here comes Darren Young. See what Darren Young can do. I know he's currently in a quite, I'd say, successful tag team with uh, Titus O'Neil and uh, AW, but for the sake of this, I'm going to put him as a, a jobber. Just to even the numbers out a little bit. As obviously in his first, we'll see what he can do. Six men in the ring now. But he's on the ropes already. It's Titus O'Neil. But he's counted back out. Titus is brawling with Husky Harris. Justin Gabriel is taking on Michael McGillicutty and Drew McIntyre as Heath Slater on the ropes. Heath Slater's countered that though, they're now both back to brawling. Husky Harris is on the ropes. Titus O'Neill's got him here, possibly. Oh, Husky Harris counters back. Slater's in the corner again. Is this his time? Drew McIntyre is doing the job. Oh, he's on the top rope. Is, it, is this out? Is this him out? The six men in. He Slater clings on for dear life and skins the cat to get back in. Now it's Slater's turn to work on McIntyre. And McIntyre's in the corner but counters very easily with some elbows to the head. And now as I mentioned this, McGill put his on the rope, Justin Gabriel's working him out, possibly about to eliminate him. And drop kick to the head. Michael McGill cut it, is gone. Down to five. Justin Gabriel celebrates that elimination, but he's got to be careful. He's got McIntyre and Heath Slater on him, who drop kicks him onto the rope as Drew McIntyre works in to eliminate him. And Titus O'Neill's in the corner, Husky Harris working on him. And Justin Gabriel hangs on. Back to the corner rope, so is Titus O'Neill. Will he be eliminated? We shall see. And. No, everyone's still in, but and no, Husky Harris, but again, Titus O'Neill survives. We've got to be due some more entrance soon. But is it Titus? Yes, it's gone. Titus O'Neill has been eliminated by Husky Harris, and we're down to four men currently in the ring. Drew McIntyre is really staking a claim to win this. He's been in there since, I believe, something like number three. We shall see. It's Justin Gabriel's on the ropes with Husky Harris. And Justin Gabriel is gone. As I probably didn't mention, Tom's second pick was Michael McGill, who has been long eliminated now. 
not having much luck. But here comes. Right, who's this then? Kurt Hawkins, I believe this actually is this time, but as I speak that, Heath Slater has been eliminated. No Royal Rumble win for Heath Slater as Husky Harris and Drew McIntyre still in the ring with Hawkins just about to enter. Here comes Hawkins. Tom says his third pick is whoever wins. So that's that's quite an obvious one. Husky Harris is impressing in this. Drew McIntyre is exceptionally impressive. He's dominant so far. Drops the knees down on Hawkins. Hawkins and Husky Harris battling now. And a snap breaker from Hawkins on Husky Harris. McIntyre and Hawkins. McIntyre in the corner. Hawkins working on him. Is this, is this, is this finally time to eliminate? Oh my god. Here comes Ryback. Now I had to put this guy in just for fun. Ryback's here and as I speak Drew McIntyre clings on once again Husky Harris goes right at Ryback Is Ryback going to do what he's doing now currently and destroy everyone in the ring? Or will he be eliminated? Remember this is completely simulation I have no involvement in this match Ryback's exchanging punches with McIntyre McIntyre's on the ropes, Ryback's working at him Husky Harris is Husky Harris helps, punches Ryback and stops that elimination as McIntyre elbows Ryback. Ryback is absolutely dominant as expected. But here comes Zack Ryder. Uh, guys, as I say that, Husky Harris is eliminated, but I'll explain my reasoning for Zack Ryder. I know he's had the so well. Possibly some people would say quite a successful run with the company, but I said with him currently hardly appearing on TV and when does basically losing to people, I'm going to consider him a current jobber and he's in this rumble. He's going straight to work on Hawkins while a very, very tired McIntyre tries to battle Ryback, but I don't see that lasting much longer if I'm perfectly honest. But as I say that, it hits his finisher on Ryback, does McIntyre. Ryback is laid out. I think that's the first time we've seen that in WWE so far. When he's, of course, Ryback. When you skip Sheffield, it was nothing but laid out. Zack Ryder on the ropes, and Hawkins is going for him. Is this an elimination? Could it be? Also, McIntyre is up on the rope at the same time. Is this going to be a double elimination? Ryder counters, and McIntyre again somehow survives. As I say that, here comes Jimmy Uso, one of the Uso twins. Again, I've gone for that because you know, Nardley on TV and WWE likes to bury them. Creative seems to hate the Usos. I have no idea why. I really wish they'd come back to prominence on TV. But the Usos have gone straight to work on Kurt Hawkins. And he's gone. Jimmy eliminates Kurt Hawkins. Buddy's straight on the rope himself. Is McIntyre going to get him? Ryback and Zack Ryder fighting here as well. Is Jimmy Uso gone? As I say that, out comes JTG. Again, I believe him to be a jobber. He's just, as we saw recently, returned to television. Basically used on NXT, if I'm not mistaken now. Or Superstars. No, I think Superstars is the right answer for that one. I apologise for my lack of knowledge on the undercards of WWE, the NXTs, the superstars, etc, etc. But here we go, in the ring so far, Jimmy Uso, JCG, Zack Ryder, Ryback and from number 3, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre currently has Ryback on the ropes. Is this going to be a huge elimination in this rumble? No, Ryback counters with a stiff right fist to the head. Still some more to come out yet. Yeah. This is far from over. Ryback's on the ropes again as Jimmy goes to eliminate, but for some absurd reason, Drew counters. I don't think he wants that to happen, but Jimmy has some help as here comes Jay Uso, the second of the Uso twins, and Rikishi's sons. Can he help? Can they form that tag team they have as McIntyre's on the ropes, but Jimmy stops the elimination? JTG is working on Zack Ryder, and no, the Usos are fighting each other. 
That isn't good. That isn't good work in the Royal Rumble. But Drew McIntyre is finally eliminated by Ryback, and that's been a long time coming. As Ryback goes to work on one of the so straight away throws him down. Will he get rid of Jimmy? Jay will still remain. No, he survives this time. We're about 20 minutes through here, but I'm sure I can get this whole rumble into one episode. As Ryback gets slammed down by Jimmy and JTG is getting eliminated by Ryder and Jay. Can he be eliminated? Will he hang on? Tough call, JTG is about to go. And he's out of here. JTG is eliminated. Sad short return though for him. He's gone. See you next year, kid. As Ryback takes on Jimmy and Zack Ryder takes on Jay. The Usos are still in this, and so is Ryback. But, oh, have I, have I just seen what I think I've seen? Ryback gets a heavy DDT, slammed to the mat, and then he's on the ropes. No, he, he's, he's wobbling. He's wobbling. Has Ryback got much longer left in this match? He's getting destroyed by Jimmy here currently. He's on the ropes, stiff right hands. But here comes, in my opinion, many will disagree, the ultimate jobber in such of the fact that he shouldn't be, as he was debuted as a monster heel, but he's now a jobber in the great Kali. Another huge pick to win this match. I just had to put the Kali in there. As uh, I think he's definitely now a jobber, and it's ridiculous in my opinion. He was debuted against The Undertaker, and now look what he's doing. As Jimmy's in the corner, but countless rider. Kali just stands there as Ryder goes to work on him. On the Kali, I don't know what the hell he's doing, but he's just sprinting around the ring. Running into Jimmy's having no effect. I think we've got a glitch here. Finally does a drop kick on Ryder. But Jay looks about to be eliminated as Ryback's got him in the corner. But no, he counters. Ryback has been countered, but he's got him back on the ropes. Is now is he time to go? And no, he survives once again. He's still clinging on the bottom rope as Ryback goes to work. Nearly, 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 and Jay's eliminated. And Ryback is very happy with himself with her. But as I speak, here comes a shock pick in. Guess who it is everyone? The Hurricane Gregory Helms. Now many people wouldn't have expected this and many wouldn't consider him a jobber. But I did love his gimmick back in the day and I think he was primarily used as like a Santino of that era. So I'm going to go with him being a jobber and it's just great to see him again. But the Hurricane is with working on Kali straight away but Kali's dominating. Ryback's got Ryder on the ropes as Jimmy's still in this. But Ryback and Jimmy, I've got Ryder, and Ryder's gone, and Hurricane already is in trouble. Kali looks to be eliminating him already. Ryder is furious with himself, he won't be winning this battle royal. Hurricane, is he gone? Is he gone? Kali's put a lot of pressure on. And yes, the Hurricane is gone already. One of my, what would have been favourites to win this, due to his late number, has been eliminated. We're left with Great Kali, Ryback, and Jimmy Uso, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that is all 20 men. I don't think we're going to see anyone else come out. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Yeah, unfortunately, as Thomas just said, number 26 isn't available because I couldn't get that many jobbers, but Kali is being worked on by Jimmy Uso and Ryback, and Kali is no, he survives. And I apologise, guys. I was bluffing. There is another entrant just come out, and it's Alex Riley. I forgot all about poor Alex Riley, like a lot of WWE Universe fans, since he's been dropped since the Miz, the Miz storyline, let's call it, which I think is pretty, pretty poor. I, and I'd be pretty pissed if I was Alex Riley. But here he is. Is he the last one? Is he not? Even I don't know, guys. So this is just complete spot work guessing. But four in the ring. Jimmy Uso, Ryback, Alex Riley, and the Great Kali. We've got about five minutes left, guys. Can we finish the rumble inside one episode or one part, let's call it? I don't know. Let's find out. And number 16, I think Josh may already be gone. 
as right back was much earlier on. Kali was probably about 14. I don't see the numbers and unfortunately I can't remember them all. Here we go, we have somebody else. And this is Tyson Kidd. Tyson Kidd is the next one in. Now obviously many people won't consider him a jobber, but he has an awful losing streak because since he in, until he beat Tensai, he was losing every single time he was used on TV. So for that basis, I'm going to consider him a jobber. Right back goes to work on him, but Jimmy Uso's on the ropes. Kali's got him. Is he eliminated? Is he not? And yes, Jimmy Uso is gone. The Usos will not be winning this. As Jay went earlier on, and Jimmy has now been eliminated. But we've still got Ryback, Tyson Kidd, the great Kali, and Alex Riley. As Ryback is getting worked on by Tyson Kidd, and a drop kick from Tyson Kidd. Ryback survives, clings onto the bottom rope. Tyson Kidd's going to eliminate him though. And he's nearly, he's nearly got it. He's nearly got, he's done it. Ryback has been eliminated from this job of Royal Rumble by none other than Tyson Kidd. What a push he would get if he won this thing. He would definitely become a champion and like it. As he works straight away on Great Kali. Tyson Kidd is furious so far in this. Drop kick to the head of Kali. Alex Riley and Tyson Kidd forming a double team for now. The last three here guys. So number 20 was Tyson Kidd. Number 19 was Alex Riley. Ryback is gone. We're down to the Great Kali, Alex Riley and Tyson Kidd. The last three guys, who is going to win? Answers please. Passing Kid's already on the ropes, Alex Riley's working on him, but Kali dislikes this, breaks it up. Slap to Alex Riley from Kali. Uh, Tom believes Kid to win. That's a very good shout if they can overcome Kali. As I say that though, he's pile driving by Alex Riley and Canvas. And again, gut wrench slam. Kali though, the Toe kick of his own to Alex Riley. Alex Riley counters into the DDT position, grappling, and he does a jawbreaker. Kali's laid out. Kid and Riley start to work on each other. Liam believes Alex Riley to win. That's not a, that's a possibility still. I think they need to eliminate Kali rather than working on themselves, which they currently are doing. This could be foolish, in my opinion. Kali is very, very badly battered and surely would only need one more attempt at the top ropes to be eliminated and one of these two men could win the job or a rumble. But no, Alex Ryan with a stiff clothesline to Tyson Kidd and again another stiff clothesline and for the third time stiff clothesline. Kidd is laid out, picked up by Riley, counters a bunch, counters and a counter by Riley again as Kali weighs in with a huge right fist. And Kid is on the ropes. Oh, here we go. Double team from Kali and Riley to eliminate Tyson Kidd. Is he gone? Is he not? Is he surviving? Tyson Kidd on the ropes. And Riley and Kali are still working on him. Is he gone? And yes, Tyson Kidd is eliminated. So sadly, guy. Oh, straight away from Alex Riley. Alex Riley, oh, straight after the elimination, he, Alex Riley threw Kali on the ropes, but he didn't survive, but he's, he's, is Alex Riley going to, he has, Alex Riley has won this, after coming in at number 19, he has won the Job of Royal Rumble by eliminating the great Kali last, ladies and gentlemen, and from the request I have had, I do believe that Alex Riley is due a title shot, and a world title shot at that. Interesting, if we move into the last minute, we seem to have perfectly just managed to fit this Raw Rumble into this half an hour segment. Hope you've enjoyed it, you did request the show. Feedback will be required if possible please, if something like this again should ever be attempted, or if this is a disaster to broadcasting. As Alex Riley celebrates and points to the Wrestlemania sign, he shall soon be getting his title shot as Kali in the background looks depressed. Sad scenes for Kali, fantastic for Alex Riley as he deserves that. Number 19 was today's lucky number. As that's who's won and took home the title shot. I believe World Heavyweight Championships is what you wanted to challenge for. So, shall I make that official next? You tell me guys, 10 seconds left, don't need to thank anyone that joined tonight, anyone that may listen in the future. 
and like I said, feedback will be greatly required. Thanks guys, and good night.